If you want to prevent muscle loss and brain aging, this obscure bodybuilding supplement might be for you. Let's delve into the science of the surprising connection between bodybuilding and your brain. Creatine is a naturally occurring compound found in our muscle cells, our brain tissue, connective tissue, and other parts of our body. Its primary function is to regenerate ATP or energy. It's actually a smaller component than one of the amino acids found as the building blocks in our body. You can find this in lots of foods like red meat and fish. When this tiny compound is synthesized into a powder, athletes know it as a supplement that can increase the strength and explosiveness. Bodybuilders actually use it to retain water inside their muscles, so when they flex, their muscles actually look bigger. Studies consistently show that people who exercised and took creatine increased their lean body mass and strength over those who just exercised alone. This was true in both sexes and across all age groups. Creatine does this by efficiently shuttling more energy into your muscle cells, but researchers are most interested in how it impacts your brain. Several studies have shown that supplementing creatine increases your cognitive function or how well your brain performs. One of my favorites is that it increases the amount of BDNF found within your brain. BDNF is something I've spent lots of hours teaching students and colleagues about. Think of it as the growth hormone within your brain. When your BDNF is high, you repair your brain faster, you sleep deeper, you are able to sustain injury and repair from that faster. And as you age, that BDNF is going to be one heck of a protective molecule from the aging process. As BDNF sinks in our brains, we know that depression happens more often, so does anxiety. Several of those factors on how well are you gonna handle stress, it gets worse when that BDNF sinks. So keeping that higher or increasing it once it's low is in our best interest in all of us. Because creatine shuttles more energy into the brain, clinical studies have found that it is effective for treating depression. It's the same reason why my patients report increased energy, cognitive function, and mood when on the ketogenic diet. Ketosis improves that mitochondrial function and adds energy into the brain especially if that brain has been limping along on a glucose only fuel. Add some ketones and some creatine and you'll see that depression lift and have a more sustainable energy for your brain. Having said all that, there are no silver bullets when it comes to healing from mental health struggles. That's true even with my prescriptions. Creatine is safe and cheap and worth giving a try for the other benefits found for it even if you have no struggles with your mood. If you wanna learn more about how to improve your cognitive ability, click here. I'll see you there.